need to tell me you gotta live through. And we need to tell me you gotta live through it now. I'll pull out a lot of fun. Gang, 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 gang. So we got J. Crew. Don't look at my freaking address. J. Crew, J. Crew. Ah, and what I've been waiting very long for. Don't look at my freaking ad. Oh, I just put my address in there. Hmm, I don't even see the looking for. Move, mosquito. And it's a time we gotta live through it now. What's going on guys, it's your boy Renaissance Dad checking in with yet another Blues Unboxing. All right guys, so right off the bat, um, you'll know that this is the first uh, style, first Jordan that's ever blessed my uh, my channel. I'm not really a Jordan fanatic. Um, maybe when I was growing up, uh, like in high school, I used to cop a lot of J's, um, but when I was growing up, my parents didn't buy them for me. So, I, you know, they thought it was very too expensive, so. I, I gravitated towards like the Penny Hardaways, the Emmett Smiths, the Gary Payton's and stuff like that. So um, Jordans were, they had like a mystique about them. Um, I could see them, but never owned them until high school. And then after high school, I was just kind of like, uh, whatever. You know, there's certain, there's certain um, silhouettes that I always will gravitate towards like the sixes or sevens, fives and the ones. Um, but I have a pair of 11s that I'm looking to get rid of. Uh, you know, I just one day get them just to say I had them, but once I got them, I never wore them. Um, I probably literally worn them like three times. So, when I saw this one, this this Jordan, I, I thought it was like super limited, so I thought it would be a cool way to rock like an original J with just like small features, because like I'm based in Virginia, and Virginia, you know, if I wear a Yeezy, nine times out of 10, I'm like the only person that has them on. Um, you know, Jordans are really prominent here. So I thought it'd be a cool way to kind of like flex. I'm not, I'm not, I mean, I'm, I, I'm a self-admitted sneaker stop, snob. I like wearing what other people don't have. That's just my thing. So, I will say that I have been kind of disappointed uh, seeing all the releases and restocks and stuff like that because before these dropped, the resale, which we'll talk about a little later, was around $450. Um, now, I mean, you'd be lucky if you even break even. I saw them um, as low as like 270 and I ordered three pairs in total. I ordered three pairs of these, I ordered. This is the one from Sneakers, that's the Sneakers app, but the first two I ordered off of PSG directly. Um, I woke up at like three o'clock in the morning copped them because I thought they were gonna be super limited. I ordered the wrong size, was blown. Um, then Pearl Direct went live like an hour later, so I ordered uh, 11 and a half, which was still the wrong size, super blown. So I ordered two of the wrong pairs of shoes and then the sneakers apps hit. Uh, so I tried again and I ended up copying my 11, which is why we have this today. And I tried to cancel with my other orders. I still got the PSG order coming through, but I'm looking to like either send that back or, 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 or sell it ASAP. I, I don't want two pairs of these. Um, they tricked me. I thought they were gonna be super limited, um, but these guys. I mean, it's kind of like a general release, to be honest. Um, but I am talking way too much. So, without further ado, I've already made mention of what we have here today. These are the Jordan Five PSG collaboration. Let's 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 get straight into the body bag. In my lifetime, I've probably, I've only owned w one other pair of fives, and that, it was actually from my boy A-Town. He was my roommate in college. And A-Town, I don't know what he used to do, but he, had, he always had the bag in the college. I'm not sure. He used to have all the J's, and for my birthday, he bought me the uh, white and blue fives. I put them on the screen. Uh, the white and blue fives for my birthday. And uh, those were the only fives I've ever owned. The fives were his favorite, too. The suede is really nice. It's really soft. Um, like I said, this is going to scuff immediately. Um, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it just looks like it's already, it comes pre-scuffed. Uh, but it's okay. Um, these look just like the metallic fives, except in the shark's tooth, it's white instead of silver. But I do like the Paris and the, uh, inside the netting, the 75. 
I think the representative of the PSG soccer team. But what sold it for me is the back of it, the PSG with the three stripes on the back. I think that is fire. And these are like, um, I'll probably like wear these like all black with like a camo jacket, some slight. Um, probably like to the mall. Uh, you know, I'm hanging out with my son or something like that. These these don't make the the date night cut. And honestly. I don't. I can't even compete with my sister with these. I mean, they're, these are dope, but I think she has like the uh, the top threes. I think she has the top threes, and the top threes are still better than these. Even the resale says so. So, I mean, these are just cool. This is hot though. The Paris under the ice bottom. That's that's hard. That's hard, real hard. So it's cool. These won't make the gym cut either. The uh, the suede is too soft. Look at the oh the embossing on the tongue is really nice. Really nice. I'm I'm very happy with these. I'm about to put these on. I, I I do have concerns about the suede. I don't think it'll last long. And at the price point, I think it was like I paid on the sneakers app two twenty five, but on the PSG, those shoes were almost three hundred dollars. So uh, those I, I probably won't make that back. If I can't get that back, I'm just I'm just sending back because I sent them a message to cancel them, and um. They, uh, you know, they finesse me. So, uh, next, let's get into the P. Let's get into the resale. So right now, guys, the resale is is, is hovering around the 275 mark. If you have a, a pair of 11s, you'll see a greater return on investment. If you have like the larger sizes, like the sizes 12, which are yielding like a 300, 305 to 330 um, uh, price point. Um, so. Honestly, guys, if you bought these to resell, um, you're probably going to have to play the long game. Um, maybe wait until Christmas for people are trying to spend money or just cross your fingers and hope some kind of celebrity rocks them and kills them. But uh, um, but for right now, if you caught multiple pairs and you can afford it, I suggest sitting on them. Now, one of the coolest things that I just realized as I was preparing for the on feet test is the insole. Let's see if I can pull that out for you guys and take a look at it. That is pretty dope. I think the lines work represent like the soccer field, which I think is really dope. These are really cool. All right, guys, let's get into the on feet test. Actually, I'm so glad I went back on the sneakers app and copped the 11 because 11 is actually like really perfect. Um, I really like these. I'm not gonna lie, and you have to excuse their socks. I just came from gym from the gym, so I don't want to hear your mouth. Um, but these are hard though. These are definitely hard. Um, let me know in the comments. Are you feeling these? Am I bugging? Did you cop? Did you cop multiple pairs? Did you flip them before the resale went down? Man, just let me know. All right. It's your boy Renaissance Dad checking out. Catch you later. Bro.